Welcome back. In today's Excel tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change cell color automatically depending on the value within that cell. We'll start with the basic way of doing this. We've got a list of numbers here ranging from one up to 24. Let's say we wanted to highlight the cells that contain values over 15. So to do this, we would first select all of our data. Then we're going to go to the home tab and select conditional formatting. It's a drop down box at the start and you want to go to new rule. We're then going to use the second option down, which says format only cells that contain. And in here, we want to keep it as cell value, but in the box next to it, we're going to put greater than or equal to, and then our example was 15. So at the moment, it won't do anything because we've not formatted what it will look like if it's greater than 15. So to do that, we'll click this format button here and then go to the fill section on the right. Choose the color, we're gonna choose green and then click OK and then OK again. You can see it's now highlighted the cells that have values larger than 15 and this will be updated as we go. So as long as we've got this area selected, we could go and change this one to 15 and it will highlight that. So that's the first way. We're just going to clear this now so that we can do the next rule on these numbers. So to clear it, select all of the data we selected at first, go back to conditional formatting, clear rules this time, and then clear rules from selected cells. So that's removed all of our conditional formatting in this section. So there are other ways we can change the colors automatically. If we select all of the data again and go back to conditional formatting and then new rule, we can do cells just like before, greater than or equal to, or all of these things. Now I don't need to go through each one, but for example, on between, you'd say between five and 10, and then we'd format it. If we do it as the same one last time, click okay and okay again, it will highlight the cells green or however we've chosen to highlight them that are between the five and 10 that we set. If we select our data again, go back to conditional formatting and new rule, we can now choose this top option. This top option will choose the color based on the value just like before, but this time it's using a color scale. We've got a two color scale currently selected. We'll leave it on that for now. But if we go to the minimum value, so it's gonna be automatically set to the lowest value in this list, but we can choose number and leave it as zero if we wanted to. You can see each of these will do different things. If it's a percentage, you want to include percent there. Just to show you, if we leave it on lowest value and highest value and change the colors to something a bit easier to show, so red to green, click on OK, and you'll see that based on the data, it will highlight the colors depending on their value. So the lowest value is number three, and the 24 is the highest number, and it's quite helpful that they're next to each other in this case, because we can see on that scale that we selected, the color scale, this is the bottom and this is the top of the scale. Now, if we do it again, it will look a little bit different if we chose a number, and this might be a bit more helpful depending on the data you're trying to show. So if we clear it again, go to new rule, two color scale, we'll change the colors back to how we had them. But this time we're going to go on to number. So if we select number and then we'll leave the value at zero, and then do number again on the maximum value, and this time we'll do 30. So this could be something like test scores or anything that's perhaps out of 30 maybe. And if we click OK, you'll see it looks slightly different to last time and you might prefer this way of showing the colors. We can do it again, but this time with the three color scale, you can see it's added that third color in the middle and it's currently using the percentile way of getting to that midpoint. But and it, again, as uh, in the last example, you can choose number on all of these. We can use the third formatting rule to format only top or bottom ranked values. So at the moment it will highlight the top 10 values. So if we were to go and select the green format, you can see it's going to highlight 10 numbers and they're the 10 highest numbers in this data. We can make it the top 10% by clicking on this percentage here. And because our sample is small, it's only highlighted one value. And you can change it to the bottom values by selecting this drop down box. If we wanted to highlight values that are above or below the average, we can do on the fourth option down. At the moment it's set to above, but if we click on this drop down box, we can choose below, equal or above, equal or below, or use the standard deviation as well. So if we select above and then do green and click OK, it will highlight all of the numbers that are above the average that it's calculated automatically. We can use the conditional formatting 
to highlight cells that are duplicate values. If that's something you want to do, we can do that. So it's select the data again, conditional formatting, new rule to get to this screen and format only unique or duplicate values. It's currently got set to duplicate and we can change the format of that. So if we were to select it as red and then click OK and then OK again. And as you can see, it's now highlighted the numbers that are duplicates in this set of data. Now you might have a database that needs unique values or you might have a reason to highlight the duplicate values and you can do using that. And then finally, the last option on this list is to use a formula to determine which cells to format. You probably want to use this option if none of the above have helped. So we're going to use a simple example and we've just changed our example here on the left. We've got date and sales. We've selected all of the date values and we want to highlight the dates that have over 80 sales. Now, if we were to do that on the other methods, we could highlight sales and or highlight it all, but we're wanting to highlight the date that's got more than so many sales. So if we were to put in equals, and then we're going to choose the top cell here, which is F3. So this is the top of the list that we want to actually check for. So we're going to put F3 and we're going to remove the dollar signs because we don't want it to select F3 all the time. So we could have just typed in F3, but obviously it'll be dependent on the cell that you're actually choosing. It's the top cell of the list to the right of what we're choosing here in this example. And then we're going to put greater than or equal to 80. And then we're going to format it as green. Click OK and then OK again and you can see it's highlighting the dates where the sales were more than 81. So that's a simple example how to use a formula. I can't tell you what formula to use but hopefully you'll have that in mind depending on the data you are actually wanting to highlight. And of course if you have any questions then drop them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them as soon as I can. Final things to cover in conditional formatting is that we can clear the rules at any time by clicking clear rules from selected cells if we've got them selected or clear rules from the entire sheet. And we can also manage rules by clicking on the bottom option in that list. It will currently show the rules that are in the current selection. Now we've only got F4 selected so there's nothing in there. If we choose this drop down box and go to this worksheet, you'll see that we've got all of the rules in the worksheet and this is the one that we just made. It'll show the format that's on it. We can double click it to change the rule. We can delete it. And if we had more than one rule here, we could use the up and down arrows to change the priority. We can delete rule, edit rule and add new rules from this screen as well. Just click on OK or apply when you've made your changes. And that's it. That's the introduction to conditional formatting. There's a lot more to cover in conditional formatting. So perhaps I'll do a video on that in the future. This is just how to change colors of cells. And I've tried to explain it as best as I can. So hopefully you found it helpful. If you have, remember to leave a like. Feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.